three, two, one. Hello, good afternoon, good morning, good night, everybody. Welcome to VIOC in action. This is your boy Leon Hunt, better known as Russ Bookie, one time for the one time count, cool count, quench. We're live today in the show, and of course, we got a guest with us today. Um, I'll introduce her in quite a bit, but definitely, guys, make sure to check us out all in the social media line. We're all about trying to promote this show, uh, VIOC in action. Um, you know, you could check us out over there in the Twitter world at Team VI at Team ISV and at Instagram coming soon. Catch us over there on Facebook, uh, forward slash Virgin Island Olympics. And of course, you could check us out, um, www.virginolympic.org. All right, all right. So today in the show, we have Sydney Powell with us, sitting down with us. Sydney, what's up? Good afternoon, Leon. What's up? I'm doing really, really well. Hey, nice, nice. Man, it's been a long time, a very long time since we uh, spoke, seen each other, everything. I know. It's been a long time, and you decided to move over to St. Thomas instead of coming over and visiting us on St. Croix, but that's okay. I know, I know, man. I did I, I, I on the rack. I did on the rack. You check. But I am in a territory, which is cool. I'm back in a territory. Yeah, I've been, we've been talking about it for a long time. Um, so I'm back in the territory. I'm here to stay and I'm here to push our committee and sports going the right direction. And that's the whole point of it. I literally made that decision to come home to, so I could be able to give back and help out for real, for real. That's awesome. That's what we like to hear. That's what we should all be doing. I know, man. And believe me, up in the States now, it's cold and you don't want to be up there right now. And oh, gosh. Yeah, I do not miss that at all. I went to school in Chicago, and I hear from um, some of my friends from college. Definitely, that that yeah, I mean, I look just just even just even thinking about it or talk about it, I kind of get the chills right now. It's it's outside feeling nice. It's eighty seven degrees right now, feeling nice. It's sunny and shining. That's what I like to hear. Oh gosh, it's all good though. So Sydney. What's up, man? What's up? Are you, what are you still bowling? I am still bowling. Um, I try. So I'm in two different leagues. One on Monday, which is a men's league, but you know, we're all about equality here, so women can bowl in it. And then on Tuesdays, there's like a mixed co-ed league that mm-hmm. I sub on. Both days, I'm a substitute, so I don't bowl every week, but I try to keep as active as I can. So I'm still bowling. Um, so, yeah. yeah um still playing. all right that's good man i let me tell you i went over there to they got this place in st thomas name um chicken and bowling and i'm not the i'm not the best bowler in the world well maybe i am but you know sometimes i like to give people a little chances here here and there but something tell me that the bowling alley that's over there, it's not the regulation size, a little bit shorter. So maybe when you got a chance to come over here to the rack, um, you could come check that out. But because I know I like yeah. to bowl like a, a three, about 320 or so, you know, I get skills like that. 320, am I right? Oh, my goodness. If you bowl a 320, then you're there on a different level than the pro bowler. <laughs> but I... It's been on my list. I, I heard about it, and I've seen photos, and I know that they have a lot of events and stuff there. And I'm glad. I'm glad that um, somebody did bowl, set up a bowling alley there because there was one there a few years ago uh, mm-hmm. that unfortunately shut down. But I think it's a good thing. So um, it's on my list. I'll make it over there to check it out one of these days. All right, good. Come over here, and then we go ahead. You could teach me some of those skills, and then we'll get ready for the next tournament, and we could be good to go. There you go. See it there. So, and then of course, like um, they got this this time around. Me coming back in the territory, I have seen other federations being let let's say more active than what was in the past. And um, I've seen a lot of events coming up or a lot of events setting up, and I'll be able to push that out to the people them so they could know what's going on within the other federation, rather than just the traditional basketball, track and field. And swimming is other sports out there in the territory, and they are being active. So I want to, I want to be able to everybody get a chance to hear about this, so they could go try their hand. 
Yeah, I actually just want to shout out, even though they don't know me at all, but I admire them so much. The Archery Federation. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's ba- yeah, it's based on Saint Croix, and okay. I believe every Saturday they um, invite people, young and old, to come and try archery or practice their archery um, out um, in the, on the West End, close by Arthur Richards School. I think it's by I think it's in their field, but. Every week, they have um, archers who go out there and practice. Last week, I think there was about 25. Mm-hmm. They have a Facebook page that they update um, all the time. So, shout out to the Archery Federation. I think they're doing really good stuff introducing kids to, uh, and frankly, unorthodox, like an unusual sport here in the Virgin Islands. So, I think that's a good thing. Right. Archery. I, um, let me see. Did we have, we had arch we had some archeries, um, yeah, we do. team we have a in couple, our, uh, who let me were, see. Lynn, who competed in the CAC it, her name, Anne, 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 that's her name, Anne, Anne is one of the yes. archers. Yeah. And, um, Nicholas, the young up and coming one, um, qualified for a couple of events in world championship and, um, some other events within the archery world but we'll get our information plug it out there but okay big up to the archers out there um i'll go try my hand wait so that mean it's based in st croix so possibly i'm sure they probably gonna have something over here too um so i'll find out more about that and um let everybody know i have no idea sure. I had i never tried to shoot a bow before at all so this would be the first time me trying something like that so we're gonna see how that go hopefully i don't shoot down no type of deer or something out there check <laughs> yeah sounds good I, I mean let me know when you do it so i can come out and try i got you i got you i got you that's what's up man so sydney let me see the last time we was let me see the last time we was up and around was our past games in um barranquilla that's right Right, so that that last summer, um, twenty eighteen we was in CAC games, uh, in Byron Killa, Colombia, um, it was down there. Um, those games, those games was I I like those. That wasn't my favorite game, but it was different. Um, that particular type of game that was a little different than some of the other ones. My favorite one was where we was back before that one, which was in 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 Mexico, Veracruz. We was in Veracruz. Veracruz. was a lot of fun. Yes, yes. Veracruz was was exciting. That was let me see if that was that was 2014. That's right. Right, yeah, that was there. Oh, and I skipped out and um when we went to the academy in Greece. Yeah. Yeah, we went that to was, um, that was 2016, I believe. Right. So that was that. Was, you know what we. Sh- I, I don't think a lot of people know what that is or what it, it the whole thing is. Um, I when uh, I've been on this show and before I was here, um, spoke to Bobby a little bit about it. But now that me and you here literally experience the same thing, I think we should let enlighten the people exactly what is this mysterious um, um, event that we went to in in, in Greece. Yeah, um, I mean, it was a life-changing experience for me, and it just kind of solidified my love love of travel and meeting people from all over the world. But essentially, um, the, the International Olympic Academy um, is a academy uh, where they invite the, um, people who are involved in sports in some capacity. Um, it's the young, excuse me, it's the young... The young Olymp- Olymp- the young Olympiads. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, but it's it's specifically for for younger people involved, um, and it's from all of the countries all over the world who participate in the Olympics, um, and they bring them to Athens, Greece, where the Olympics began, and you stay at the Olympic Academy, which is based there for roughly two weeks, right. and they um, teach you about you know, the Olympics and sports and the ethics behind it, you know, um, different theories about how we should move forward and progress with um, sports throughout the world. And that year, I think the focus 
was on sustainability. Sustainability, which was for the 2016 games held in Rio. That's right. And they bring um, different speakers who are either professors or academics or administrators in the Olympics um, or in different um, committees from different countries Mm -hmm. to speak to you about um, their theories and their thoughts and to hear our thoughts on sustainability in the Olympics and sustainability in sport. So that was the focus the year that um, you and I went. Correct. And I learned so much. It was it was such a great experience. And I, I, I came back home with a lot of ideas um, for the territory and for the VIOC. Mm-hmm. Um, so that how we can continue that conversation that we had um, in Greece here. And there's still a lot of work to do. There's a long way to go, but um, I'm glad to be a part of it. So that's in a nutshell, what we did, um, and, you know, just interacting with different people from all over the world, you get a lot of different perspectives, um, you hear a lot of things that sound similar to what you're experiencing, Correct. as, and as well as, you know, things totally different, who, you know, like people who had ideas that could totally work here, um, and I could, I could go on and on about it, but I, that, that's in a nutshell what we did, and it was such a great experience. Definitely. Uh, when we went over there, let me see. We 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 well. So when we first got there, we went to Athens. Um. So right. we we flew into Athens and we took this four hour drive okay. to the city of Olympia. Olympia. That's You're it. right. That's Olympia. Originally, originally where the Olympics began. Correct. They are like literally grounds it right there right there yeah. where everything first started and um, we got to see on the campus of where years 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 of athletes and how this world's biggest event started right there in that one place um so there on campus um it's it's the campus wise if i if i had to show somebody or explain it to somebody how big it might be because it's on top of a hill on top of a hill so imagine being in st thomas on one of these hills right Uh, imagine being in uvi actually being in uvi it might be about half a uvi which is probably let's just say uvi from the class all the way the top straight to the bottom is probably about that size right there i would say but it's a very small town and it got olive trees all over the place and uh, (laughs) olive trees and they have some oranges that was there the oranges is actually really good out there. They get some hot sun. They get hot Yo, sun over there. <laughs> listen, that sun was unforgiving. Yeah. Could, this is just a this is just a quick story for everyone, right? The the summer because it was in the summer. This was June. This is with the middle the middle of June, and it was so hot that so we would wash our clothes and then hang them out to dry, mm-hmm. and your wet clothes would be dry in less than 10 minutes. And I, that is not an exaggeration. Yes, and that's true because for the, sure. The, heat, the, the temperature was over 100 degrees some days. Yep, it, it was, it was. Um, Man, I tell you, I, I probably turn a, I probably turn a whole person shade, man, for, for real, um, <laughs> which is cool. But it was hot. Um, they, they, The mornings was chilled. The night was chill. Oh, you remember in the mornings, every morning when we got up, they played the music, our favorite music that everybody at the end of the, 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 the at the end of the whole, um, what was it, for, for the two weeks that we was there, everybody know this song now because it was, it was, it sounded like Mozart, um, it was, yeah. it, it was like this, it was Greek music, it was, a, I, it, I would want to say, I can't, I don't remember exactly what the, the name of the music, exactly the, the gender, um, um, it was, but definitely you learn to you you learn about that particular um, South Age Mozart Beethoven Beethoven type of music. Loud, 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 loud. I think I heard that song in my head for like maybe two mm-hmm. weeks after I got back. That's how ingrained it was in my brain. Yep. Um, let me see. So we did that. We was in groups. So I it was I think this the time we went, it had about 
a hundred and set fifty or seventy um uh, athletes or represent it was seventy five it was a hundred and something countries and two people from each one just about or right, a person you have to representative have a, a, a male and a female right from and each country and some of them didn't bring both but a good bit of them did have two representatives yes and we so and we all all our groups we was in the groups my group was about 12 members or so in each group and uh, we, we met with this class three three times a day pretty much morning noon and the evening um, mm-hmm. and we went through like you said the topic about being uh, of, of for the for 2016 Olympic um, for sustainability so we had to do some research based upon that every day from there and team bonding or group bonding and everything and we had we even had sports they had a uh, they had little sports they had sports events at different parts of the day that you could join and play so you know that was cool to be over there to and remember a lot of these athletes a lot of these members was not athletes you know so yeah. one let everybody know so some it wasn't of them were, and some of them some of them were also Olympic athletes, which was really cool. Um, and that was good to hear their experiences about participating in the Olympics. In the games? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you had, you know, you had like a wide... And, and that the other thing about sports and the, the Olympic as an organization in general right. is that there are so many ways that you can participate in sport and in the Olympics that is not specifically being an athlete there are tons of different ways tons that you of can ways. give back so i i really appreciated getting those perspectives definitely i i think what we should do um i think we we, we wrote a report on it of our, our experience there but maybe we should follow back up on that and um try to implement that in the yeah. new um commission that we'll talk about later on in the show um so we could implement some because I think that's a that's a key thing there to get our territory back in 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 VI strong athletes. You know what I mean? Because we have a lot of athletes here in the territory and they're very talented and they got plenty of skills. But sometimes they need these little they need these little tools here to help them out. And definitely, that's you know what? There it is. That's our plan. We're gonna do that there. I'm about it. Let's do it. Yeah, man, for sure. So, um, so we did that. We went there. I created a video for the whole, um, the whole time that we was there. I made a video for the whole event. That was cool. I submitted that. So, actually, I think it's still on their website. Um, it's a uh, IOA. If I'm correct, it's IOA dot org dot G R for Greece. Um, it's a video up there that I submitted. For our, of course, personal experiences and everybody else experiences within there too. So, did something a little package for them that was, you know, pretty special and um, give everybody a chance to look back and like, man, that was a great summer there for sure. Yeah, for sure. I, I miss, and I keep in touch. Like, I'm sure you do. I keep in touch with a lot of our friends. From our class there yes um, my facebook is ton i got a whole section on facebook in a group from everybody there especially um panos the, the one two three four all six you know, panos, panos that was there me. <laughs> yeah he just messaged me i think a couple days ago because i i shared um a, a video of mykonos because mm-hmm. so me and so liana and i also took a trip after the the uh, academy to some of the Greek islands was amazing, and um, yeah, I shared a, a video of Mykonos, and he Panos messaged me underneath, and he was like, "Oh, I'm here, I'm in Mykonos right now, you know, we just <laughs> and whenever you're here again, we should get back together." And I told him for sure. Definitely, definitely. Oh man, hey man, it's all good. Hey, well, look, we gotta go on a commercial break real quick. We'll be back. Um, let everybody know what's going on. Hey, remember we are BIOC in action. This is your boy Ross Books alongside your girl Sydney Paul. We'll be right back. <laughs> 